Did you know that pain is created in your brain to let you know that something is not okay in your body? When this happens, it's actually a good thing because it tells you to stop doing some things that are potentially dangerous or harmful. Feeling pain in this situation is actually helpful and informative. If we listen to our bodies, these pain experiences are a good thing. But for some people, pain can become a real problem because sometimes pain can persist even after an initial injury has healed. When this happens, we call it chronic pain. This is when pain has become non-informative and non-helpful, and the pain itself has become a problem. When you have chronic pain, your brain has learnt to be in pain, and you have entered a nasty pain cycle. The way your brain does this is very similar to the way your brain learns anything else. It's called neural plasticity, or brain adaptations. The great thing is that there's lots of ways to break your pain cycle. Staying positive, or eating well, or sleeping well, and staying active can all be great places to start. Even as little as a short walk every day can help. If there are movements you cannot do because of your pain, you can still help yourself by just imagining doing those movements. We know from neuroscience research that imagining a movement influences your brain in a very similar way to actually doing the movement. This can help to retrain your brain to understand that these movements are not dangerous, because imagining doing the movement will not hurt. You can basically trick your brain into giving you back pain-free movement. Brain scientists who have studied the effects of chiropractic spinal adjustments have discovered that adjustments may also change the way your brain gets into a pain cycle. This may occur because it's well known now that chiropractic adjustments have a neural plastic effect on the brain, meaning chiropractic adjustments of your spine changes the way your brain adapts and processes sensory and movement information. In particular, chiropractic adjustments changes the function in a part of your brain called the prefrontal cortex. And the prefrontal cortex is actually the part of your brain that is very involved in how we end up in this vicious chronic pain cycle. To study how chiropractic care may impact on the development of these pain cycles, scientists studied brain activity in people doing what is called a cold presser test. This involves measuring brain function through EEG recordings or electroencephalography and they recorded this at rest and then when the participants' hands were immersed in icy cold water. As you might expect, the cold presser test isn't very pleasant and can be quite painful. The participants then either received a single session of chiropractic care or a control intervention and then they did the cold presser test again while their brain activity was recorded. What the scientists found was that after the inactive control intervention, the participants' brain's activity decreased when they repeated the cold presser test. But there were no changes in the brain activity during the cold presser test after the chiropractic spinal adjustment session. What this means is that the participants showed pain habituation happening after the sham intervention which is expected and means that they're getting used to the pain. However, after the adjustment session by the chiropractors, no habituation occurred. The scientists think that this may mean that chiropractic care plays a role in preventing the brain adaptations that occur as pain becomes chronic. In other words, chiropractic care may reset the way the brain processes pain information so that it does not learn to be in chronic pain. This may be why chiropractic care has been shown in research studies to help people who suffer from neck pain, back pain and certain types of headaches. It could be that chiropractic care helps their brains to adapt better and break the cycle of pain that they're in. So if you suffer from chronic pain, do your best to stay positive, move often, eat well, sleep well, and go see your family chiropractor. Remember, it's never too late to break your pain cycle.